What's up, you guys? Thank you for clicking on this video. So as you can tell by the title, we have... This might just possibly be the best movie masterpiece scaled transforming Optimus Prime figure from the first three Bayverse movies that we just may ever get. Unless if some company does one that's even taller where there's more clearance for moving parts for the transformation or whatever. But we don't even know much about stuff like that yet because it's so early in production. But we have early prototype shots, unpainted shots of this 30 centimeter tall masterpiece scale Bayverse Optimus. Now in inches, I think that translates to about 10 or 11 inches, somewhere around that. Um, but I can't, I can't really remember. It's been a while since I looked up masterpiece centimeters to inches and stuff like that. But it seems like it's going to be pretty in scale with every other masterpiece release, whether it's official by Hasbro and Takara or if it's third or fourth party by all these companies, Black Mamba and so forth. So I think that is genius that they kept it in scale like that. The fact that you could switch the chest plates from regular 2007 or ROTF to Dark of the Moon Ab Superhero Optimus is just fantastic. They're really going up against that one that was announced over the summer. I forgot what company was doing it. I think it was, what was it, Mechanical Alliance or something like that? That one looks fantastic too. But this one just looks a bit more cleaner and a bit more accurate, especially in robot mode. Now, in vehicle mode, there might be a bit of competition between the two companies. Because, I don't know, from what I remember with Mechanical Alliance, the vehicle mode just looked a bit more proportionally the Peterbilt truck that I remember from the movies. But, I don't know, maybe that's just the images here and, you know, it being unpainted. Um, but who knows, because they have a little bit of competition, I'm not going to lie, with Mechanical Alliance, especially with the price. Um, I'm not sure what the price is going to be on this Unique Toys Masterpiece Optimus, but Mechanical Alliance is, I think, like 250 or 220 somewhere around that range. If it's priced around the same or a little lower then <laughs> they're really giving Mechanical Alliance a run for their money. But if it's priced more, like $300, because not going to lie, guys, with with all that they're adding to this, with all the engineering, the accessories, the moving parts, like this, this parts count is insane with this Optimus, guys. Just look at all the moving parts just to transform it into robot and vehicle mode. And all the accessories he's probably going to come with too. He's probably going to come with two of his cannons, two swords, maybe his axe and hooks, um, maybe an interchangeable head, or maybe they're just going to be doing the the Hasbro Takara masterpiece way of it and just making it a flip around head sculpt. That would be kind of cool. So... I wouldn't be surprised if this is $300, especially since it seems like the parts count is a little bit higher than the Mechanical Alliance figure. But I don't know, we just have to wait and see. Sometimes these third-party companies pull out some black magic, and it's not really as expensive as we thought it would be. But the hand articulation, look at all the joints in those hands, guys. That is insane. Man, this looks like it's going to be a freaking amazing figure. But I don't know. This, these are just early prototype shots. They are unpainted, so we don't know what the QC is going to be like once this eventually does release. We don't even know when this is going to be, to be releasing as far as I'm concerned. It could be later this year. It could be next year. It could be three years from now. We don't know because that's how third and fourth party companies be sometimes. Like they announce a figure and it doesn't come out until years later because of whatever rights issue or factory issue or not enough funding or whatever the case may be. So I don't know how long we're going to have to wait to see this figure actually come out. I'm really curious to see what the price is going to be and uh, how they're going to paint this guy up because he's going to need a lot of paint if they're going to want to make him as movie accurate as possible to those four, to those first three Bay movies. You know, they're going to have to add a lot of silver, a lot of gunmetal gray, red, gold, yellow, blue, copper, all these different colors. So that's definitely going to account into the budget and pricing of this figure as well. And there, he's probably going to have die cast as well. 
Uh, hopefully it's not in all the wrong places because it seems like a lot of these third-party companies and even Hasbro and Takara when they're making Masterpiece figures too, they just choose some of the worst spots ever to put die cast on a figure that either bogs down the joint where it makes it loose over time and you can't even pose the figure around correctly anymore or it's just in a spot that doesn't make sense and it's scratching up paint in an important area or whatever the case is going to be with that. So I just hope that if there is die cast on there on this figure which there's a very good chance that there will be I hope it's like in areas that is picked out well. Um, I don't want die cast in the feet, which is going to make all the knee and hip joints loose, like on a pretty much every third party masterpiece or official masterpiece movie optimus we've gotten, which is ridiculous to me. Hopefully the die, the die cast is in, I don't know, the head or the midsection or, um, I don't know, just somewhere other than the feet or the arms, because that's just been a very big complaint to me, that it's just made the joints loose on past movie masterpiece Optimus Prime figures, so I hope they learn their lesson with what past companies have done, and they do not do that here, um, and yeah, we're just gonna have to wait and see how this comes out, I mean, that comparison shot with him kneeling down with the Matrix in that Dark of the Moon scene, that is freaking spot on, guys. Like, this is some crazy black magic that Unique Toys is is dealing with here. Like, I don't even know how you even think of coming up with a transforming movie optimist that is this accurate to the CG model. Like, guys, this is insane. Like, other companies do action figures that don't transform that are just as accurate as this. But the fact that this thing transforms is just insane to me. It is just amazing to see how far toy technology has come to the point where we get these hyper-accurate MP-scaled movie figures. I just hope a, a company does one of Bumblebee. I think that is really needed. And especially one in his 70s Camaro mode. I am really surprised we haven't gotten that yet from a company. We get an MP-scaled Skids and Mud Flap. <laughs> from one of these third-party companies before we get a 70s Camaro Bumblebee or just a revamped version of the movie masterpiece of Bumblebee mold from Hasbro and Takara, whether they do it as the Revenge of the Fallen or Dark of the Moon or just the 2007 one. Either would be amazing, but it's very weird to me that we haven't really gotten too many uh, revamped versions of that mold with Bumblebee. Ones that are really important if you ask me because we have gotten revamped versions but it's like minor tweaks that really don't make that much of a difference to the final version of the figure not as extent as optimus here because i'm sure they're using the base engineering of the original hasbro takara masterpiece figure but they're just like adding so many extra steps and moving pieces on top of that to the point where it just looks like it's a brand new figure or maybe they're taking from Mechanical Alliance or uh, Black Mamba or whatever. So I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. A lot of questions still right now because of this obviously just being a great prototype. But, you know, this looks like it is probably going to be the greatest MP scaled transforming movie Optimus figure we're ever going to get. Uh, that's what I hope, at least, because, again, we don't know how the QC is going to be when this releases. We don't know what issues are going to arise because there are a lot of third-party releases over the years that we thought were going to be amazing, and they turn out to be trash due to terrible plastic quality and just terrible QC in general. I'm looking at you, Cybertron 2005 Optimus. That was a terrible, terrible release. I was so excited for that. And then it just becomes a brittle piece of broken plastic when you get it. So, yeah, hopefully it doesn't turn into that. But anyway, guys... Uh, thank you for coming to my almost, or basically 10 minute yap session at this point on this Optimus because it looks freaking amazing. I just couldn't stop talking about it. But yeah, guys, let me know, let me know down in the comments below. How do y'all feel about this new MP scaled Bayverse Optimus? Do you think it's going to be the greatest MP scaled Bayverse Optimus ever made or do you not? All my social medias are linked down below, including my email. If you guys want to hit me up about business inquiries or if you want to message me about whatever, 
Or if you want to commission a diorama from me because I make dioramas for people for their stop motions, photography, or their regular display shelves in your homes, you can either hit me up on any of my social media accounts or just email me and we can work out a deal. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Catch y'all in the next one. Bye!